Stations of the Cross, the Resurrection Station. After the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices to anoint the body of Jesus. On the way they said to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? It was a very large stone. Then they looked up and saw that the stone had already been rolled back. So they entered and saw a young man, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised. We reflect on the resurrection station. Jesus, you had told your disciples that you would die and on the third day rise again. Each of the four Gospels contains a different version of how the stone was moved. Mark's story describes a very large stone, so heavy, the women's central thought was how to remove it. In both Luke and John's accounts, the stone has gone or been rolled aside. Matthew tells of an earthquake with an angel moving the stone out of the way and proceeding to sit on it. Lord, may we be known as your disciples through our reactions to the good news of your resurrection. Roll away any stones and doubts that close our hearts and reveal the truth of your saving love. May we truly declare and take out to the world the gospel message that you are our Lord and Saviour, our ever-present help in time of trouble, now and for eternity. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia!